And one, two, three, action. Good afternoon, this is Captain Kyle Smith with Ocean LED. Uh, this afternoon we're in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, we're going to install some amphibian A12 blues on a 44 foot catamaran. Uh, this is the first catamaran that we've installed on. Um, we've spoken to the captain, we've spoken to the owner. Uh, what we're going to do is install four of our own lights on the hull. Uh, basically here, um, we're going to have a set on the inside of the pontoon. We're going to have a set on the outside of the pontoon. Um, what we want to achieve here is to light up the entire stern of the boat, um, along with the wash. Um, I think it's going to look fantastic. I'm from the Catamaran Company, and this boat belongs to one of our customers. It's actually on its way down to Panama, and well, he's pretty much tricked it out a whole bunch of wide screens and everything else, and he really wanted to light up the back. So, this is our first time experimenting with an amphibian 12. So what Bruce did based on the insulation is he did the first hole from the inside mm -hmm. at the most critical position, the one where we had the least amount. We wanted to get them as high as we could without interfering with inside structures. Sure, sure. And so that was the one that ended up having to be the lowest, the, the port outside. Mm -hmm. So we're now matching all of them to that. Actually, the most important thing that Bruce is just doing here, and he's got a much better eye at this than I do, um, is he's trying to make sure that the drill enters the hull at an exact 90 degree angle. So our hole is not skewed or anything vis-a-vis -vis the hull. And that way the light will lie flash or the light will lie more flush. And there's, no, and tension, there's, and there's no tension on the wire. There's there's the wire or the wire or anything yeah. like that. Exactly. What are you doing now, Con? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to feed the wire up through the bottom of the hole. And I'm going to show you the importance of lining up your drill at a perfect 90 degree angle to the hole. Uh, anytime you put any tension on the wire, anytime you put any tension on the light, uh, there's always the possibility when you tighten the screws of, of, of cracking the light. And, uh, that's why it's very important to, to make sure your drill is at, a, is at a 90 degree angle with the hole and that the hole you drill in the hole is perfectly straight. And I'll show you the reason why. Once we get the light set up into the hull, uh, the base of the of the power cord fits exactly in the 516th hole. And you can see there is no area at all between the light and the hull of the boat. And that's gonna that's gonna make for a perfect fit, Zach. What we're doing now is we've got the light up against the hull. We've got the power cable through the hole in the hole. We're gonna punch out marks for the screws to go in set screws that are actually going to work in combination with the, with the adhesive sealant and holding the light securely on the hole. Tell me our first one, you know, you've given us a, a, a time to warm up. Shakes. <laughs> Take that out of your head. Awesome. Can we do it? I'll do it. Here, I'll yeah, it. you want to go ahead? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I just. Want me to go inside and pull the wire? Dude? Well, I can push it through. Right. And then we need a we need a bead about an eighth inch. In from the edge, all the way around. Excellent. Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. Part full. Oh, God. That should be right. I would do a zigzag pattern over the whole back here and around the grommet. Stop there, we'll crank it, we'll tighten them sequentially. Why don't, why don't somebody just actually hold it up and then we just tighten to that point? I think it's tight. No, it doesn't say hold it up to that. Now we just tighten to that point. There you go. Hybrid and one, two, three, and action. Okay, Captain Kyle Smith, Ocean LED TV. What we've done, um, after we drilled the hole for the power wire, after we marked the holes for the actual light, uh, we went back, um, took the light from the inside, uh, we added a bead of caulk around, we, 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 we took a bead of caulk around each screw, we took a bead of caulk around the main power wire, and then just did a zigzag pattern across the back side of the light for, for extra effect. Um, push the light up to the hole, uh, probably going to need two hands for this one or maybe some help is to push the light in solid. Go ahead and hand tight your screws with a screwdriver. Don't use a drill because there's really no need to. If you over tighten this thing and you bend this light, these brackets right here do, do have a possibility of breaking. The best way is just hand tight it with a, with a screwdriver. Um, after that was all done, uh, we took a bead of caulk around the outside of the light between the light and the hole, smoothed it out with finger. You take a little bit of acetone on a, on a rag or a brush, come back by and clean it up. And that's it, you're done. Uh, total time on that, uh, probably half an hour. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember where the guy is going with this. I didn't understand why.